A friend of mine asked me if, about the Kindle and its ability to show PDF, so I kind of wanted to show a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to turn my Kindle on. There's a couple different types of PDFs. One, of course, is where someone actually just scans paper in. And I'll show you kind of how that looks. If I pull up a, a PDF like that, um, here's one from my um, graduate education days. So it opens the PDF. This was actually scanned in. At this resolution, it is really pretty much too small to read, unless you're willing to really squint. But it, the, the Kindle does have the ability, if I press this A, A button, to um, rotate the screen. So I can come in here, hit the screen rotation button. I'm doing that with this D-pad down here. And now I can turn it sideways. And you can see it's a lot easier to read. It does a really good job of rendering the PDFs. Of course, for this, it doesn't have to do a whole lot because the PDF file is really just scanned images. Um, you can, by using that um, zoom button, you can come in here and increase the size, and it gives you a, a magnifying glass. So you can zoom in even more. Um, so you could read down a column, then go back up, then flip over to the next column and go down. It can get a little tricky though because if, if you notice right here the column is cut in, in pieces. So if I flip over to the left, you'll see it, it cuts that column apart again. Now I can press down the Alt key and press right. Uh, press the wrong button. Press back. So I'll press Alt and then the D-pad. And sometimes that'll only move part of the way. Here, here it didn't. So the zoom can be kind of finicky on uh, on PDFs, but ideally, you know, if if your PDF was scanned in, I think you'd want to turn it sideways and then. Uh, view it at fit in the screen width. Um, but then if you come to a PDF file that, and I'm going to rotate it back the other way, if you come to a PDF file that was not scanned in but was created and then exported as a PDF, so created in Word or some other tool and then export it as a PDF, like this one for example, you'll see it, it, it fits a lot better on the screen um, because the software can determine better I think where the margins are and it's a lot more legible. You can still hit the rotate button. And now you'll see it, it's really quite good as far as legibility. Um, comes through really well. Uh, you can still zoom if you wanted here. I'm not sure why you would ever zoom 300%. <laughs> Let's just try that. See, so you get this little. <laughs> but the PDF support for Kindle is really. Um, quite good on this new Kindle 3. The only thing I wish is that when you do zoom, I wish that it would remember your zoom level so if you came back to that document that it would keep it. 